Patriots lose in crazy fashion, one of four division leaders to lose on Sunday. Let's welcome in Maurice Jones-Drew. MJD, which loss was most troubling to you? See, I already know where Prime is going to go. And before I even talk, see, the other day I didn't have time, Prime. But see, today I got time. Because I know you're going to try to talk about the Rams on the road. I know you, you may even say the Patriots on the road. Heck, you may even say the Steelers on the road. But it has to be the Texans. How do you lose at home? Against a team who just got shut out by the Jacksonville Jaguars a week before, you come in riding a nine-game winning streak, flying high. We're talking about this is the most dangerous team we've seen in the in years. You start 0-3, you win nine straight, then you fall, you 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 fall at home, then you let TY almost get 200? Come on now. I mean, what I'm else talking I to the say? same man that, that said ain't nobody could beat the Rams. I'm, I'm talking to the same man that no come question. to this show every week with <laughs> Ram pom poms on. I'm talking to the man, <laughs> God Gurley, Jared Goff. Oh yeah, I'm, this is the man I'm talking to. Now he gonna sit here and he's gonna play like he didn't see what went down in Chicago. Man, let me tell you something. Did they forget that Todd Gurley was an MVP candidate? Did they forget that he could actually run the ball? And I mean tote that male like no other in the NFL. Did Jared Goff forget that he could actually throw? Uh, what what happened to those defenders? What 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 happened to these these dogs up front on the defensive line? I gotta give Akeem his due because I love him like that. But everyone else in the secondary, did they forget? Yeah, they got some picks. I like that. But offensively, man, this is supposed to be a team that's unstoppable. And they were stopped. Not only stopped, they were embarrassed. They were humiliated. I know you're going to say, it's cold. You it's know. cold. It was it's cold, cold outside. I, I can't even lie to you. It was, it was cold out there, yeah. Brian. Yeah, they got sleeves. They got dry fit in the NFL. They issue all that out. That was embarrassing, man. And you know it. It was, it was cold outside. But the Rams and the Texans, it didn't affect their ability to make the playoffs. Both of them are going to make the playoffs. The Steelers now, they left the door open with their loss to the Ravens in the division. So that one stings for me. All right, well, the Cowboys and the Bears defenses, they have shut down the Saints and the Rams, as we just said, over the past few weeks. But their QBs, Dak Prescott and Mitch Trubisky, man, they've been suspect, especially when it comes to protecting the ball. Which quarterback would you rather take into the playoffs, MJD? This is tough for me. I mean, I know Dak has been playing well, but he has his spurts. I'm going to go with Mitch Trubisky. You know why I'm going to go with Mitch Prime? Because at least he's going to run the ball. You know what? I don't care. Don't throw any more picks. Just take off and run and take sacks. Your defense is playing lights out. We just heard you talk about what they did to the Rams. But don't throw the ball to the other team. So I'm going to go with this. Mr. Trubisky has more weapons around him. The coach is a little bit more creative, maybe not a little bit, a lot more creative than what you have in Dallas. And just find ways to not have him throw the ball 10 to 15 yards down the field, run the ball with Jordan Howard, play action pass. That's how you're going to have to win games, 15 to 6. And I'm okay with that. You have so a young you, quarterback, you'll you get pick, going. You're picking Trubisky because he it, can it, run. It's, it's hard. It was hard to it, pick either one, so, but I'm going to take Trubisky. And you said he has better. more weapons? You said he has more weapons? Did you understand this? No, I said I he mean, has a lot of he, weapons. It, he has a lot of weapons. You said more than the Cowboys. That's what you said. He don't make, don't make me push the Cowboys. Me Do not make me. <laughs> are you crazy? And that, you know, Dak was on the, 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 the hot seat. Dak was on fire. But guess what? Dak has been balling. You got to get Dak here. What Dak throw for 400? Four, they played four, a whole extra I mean, game. Prime, what else you want from him? I don't care what they played. They, he did what he's supposed to do. I know he missed some throws deep. He's going to work on that. But you keep getting it. Look at the makeshift line he has. I mean, guys in, out, in, and out. They're not the same as they used to be. And look at him. He's maneuvering, getting away from oncoming tacklers. I mean, this man is balling. You got to give him that. You don't know what Trubisky's going to do. Did he just throw, what, three, four picks in the game we just watched? And you're going to go, you got the audacity that to go with Trubisky. Now, if that just threw two in the game we watched. Against the Eagles, so you, against the Eagles. Did throw three or four? Four. Did he? How many did Trubisky throw? Four, three? Three. Oh, he I, threw I, three. I lost count. He threw three. I, I, I took a nap after three. At, at three, I took a nap. To, to be fair, you do have to remember that Dak Prescott did have a fumble as well, but he has Amari Cooper, and he's 5-0. and oh, so He's Amari trying Cooper to fumble. He ain't trying trading. to fumble. <laughs> So I'm going with Dak Prescott. I'm actually with you on this one, Dion. Well, the Bears and the Cowboys, just two of the many defenses putting on a show late this season. Which defense would you rather take into the playoffs, MJD? You know what? I'm going to go with the Baltimore Ravens. And this is Prime's old team. Yes, they're balling right now. You go into Kansas City, you do that to the Chiefs. I mean, just all over them. 
Don't let Mahomes, Mahomes made some great plays. He did the no-look pass, but that's what you got to do against us. You got to do the no-look passes because we all over everywhere. We're flying around. Getting uh, T. Suggs look like he's 18 again, like he's back at Arizona State. Okay, you got these young linebackers flying around. You got that Bruin over there that's playing well, too, Kenny Young. I see you out there, son. Corners are doing their job. And guess what? The offense is running the ball, keeping them off the field. That's the defense that I want to have going into the playoffs. You know, everything you just mentioned, it sounded like if I was not listening, which I really wasn't, it would have sounded like you was talking about the Bears. Oh. Were you talking about the Bears? Because it sounded like when you talk about the defense provoking turnovers, you talk about the front line breaking it, and you talk about Khalil Mack, that, hey, I don't know what you can say about Khalil Mack. I mean, that's the man right there. That's the man. That's the, the man. And he the is, legend. He, he's, but he's this man. defense is flat out falling. Every time I turn around and turn on the TV, they scoring. Are they in the end zone taking a photo out, doing a selfie? I, th that means they're dominating, man. If I'm going into the playoffs, and I'm a defensive guy. Matter of fact, I was a defensive player of the year once upon a time. <laughs> we remember. I was all state safety. Here, here's the thing, the Ravens, <laughs> the Ravens don't take the ball away. <laughs> and that's all state safety. Hey. All state safety. I love it. Junior and senior year. All right. Cool. MJD, oh. thanks so much. The Bears have three times the amount of takeaways as the Ravens. And that's all I'm gonna say. I'm going with the Bears.